Mario Kart Wii custom tracks are officially leveling up. In this video, Chad and I are checking out Mario Kart Midnight's one-of-a-kind tracks. Some of them are things you don't expect, while others are just, uh, well, you gotta watch and find out to understand yourself. All right, guys, welcome on in to another Mario Kart Midnight video. Here we are today playing uh, the most unique tracks in this track distri distribution. I cannot speak English. Here we are today in Weemfy Wonderworld. And yeah, we're in a room. Shout out to all the lovely people who made it into the room. I'm on Dasher. And what's great about this track is, for one, the particles look amazing. But as you can tell, when I said WWW, it's literally a W on the minimap. So wins in the chat, guys, wins in the chat, because this track, even though it doesn't seem like it's unique in terms of like design, the fact that it works and it's like a W is like a certified win moment. So yeah, we got Cal also in the room. He's also going as Yoshi Dasher. We got Max, um, a bunch of other people. Yo, freaking kitties in the room with using the cheap charger, bro. By the way, I told everyone that we don't all have to be on like the craziest vehicles. We can use like meme vehicles. So I hope you guys are enjoying seeing um, different types of vehicles in this GP. We have seven more left. And uh, yeah, enjoy Wi-Fi Wonderworld. As you can tell, it's just a bunch of like presents as well as like other assets that I absolutely don't, to be honest, don't know like what whoever made this track, like what they were on when they made it. But I do like the consistency of seeing like the striped red and uh, white road. It kind of like does look like the candy cane that you see. So I guess you could say it's kind of like um, a candy related track. I kind of like think it's like Willy Wonka, but obviously Willy Wonka is more chocolate based. But it's funny how Willy Wonka starts with a W. And you know what you can't spell without a W? Jigsaw Flex. So if you guys are enjoying seeing the awesome tracks here in Midnight, be sure to drop a like if you are enjoying the vid and subscribe for more Midnight content. All right, here we are doing the ramp again. There's also a bunch of half pipes, as you can tell. Casey right behind me playing as Casey Flex. I think, oh, uh, yo, me and Casey both got hit, bro. Casey also on Dasher as well, but this time it's Peach. I, I was actually hoping she got hit because, bruh, that would have sucked if uh, she got a breakaway. I'm trying to get the dub over here. All right, we're entering our final lap of the GP. I'm going to go really wide for a box here. I think you can get mushrooms off of like the leaf piles kind of like in maple treeway but um i don't know i don't remember because i i feel like i haven't really seen any maybe you get like bananas or something but yeah there's also fruit in this track which uh, i don't really notice too much it's just kind of like apples and a bunch of other things like kind of reminds me of what you call banjo kazooie like TikTok. Click Clock World, I think that's what it's called. I don't know if you guys are Banjo-Kazooie fans in the chat as well as, you know, whoever you guys are watching. Um, but it does remind me of that in certain sections with the wooden background. There's also a shortcut here. I wish I could have showcased it. I'm such a moron. I didn't think Cal was going to drop the fib. Oh, and there's freaking Me My Wii in the back. <laughs> His name is so funny. <laughs> He's also Luigi sneak stirring it. And since he's on Sneakster, he couldn't make that turn well. Was able to get third place. Oh yeah. All right, so Casey got first, Cal second, I got third. We have seven more tracks to go. All right, so here we are, our second track, which is Crazy 8 Circuit. And as you can tell, based off of the title, it's not your stereotypical figure eight, it's crazy. And the reason why it's crazy is because we have all this BS. Literally, <laughs> it's like, I don't even know. It's like someone who decided to make figure eight circuit on crack. That's pretty much what it is. Like you can see the various different routes and the fact that you're able to go in these different type of paths and it still counts as going like not going backwards is amazing. And you're probably going to see it somehow in the middle of this like race. People are going to be like seeing each other from one way over the other because like I said, all ways are correct. <laughs> so I hope I can showcase that. Also, Cal needs to chill. Oh, there's a shortcut here. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh, I made it. I made it. Oh my god, I made it. What the smeef? I didn't expect to make that. I thought I was going to die. The more you learn from Cal, bro. Cal scheming. All right, me scheming right behind me. 
There's KC. I'm gonna get destroyed. I feel like I always get destroyed by KC. Certified, bruh. Our right, Johnny. Oh, Johnny's on freaking tiny. Not tiny, tiny. He's on mini beast. Shout out to Johnny because my dude Johnny always like using the random, most random vehicles in the world. Also, Chris does in the room. Max uh, playing as Funky Flame Runner. I think he's the only one in the room. I'm gonna go this way because there's too many people going to the left. So hopefully we can see people coming from the other side. So you guys can see how this works. So you see Cal who took from the went from the top. Krista and Johnny coming from the other side, dude. So you basically can hit each other, which is hilarious. Alright, so I got Pal. Not a really good item. The track is definitely kind of confusing at first though. Which is a certified bra moment. As well as me getting hit. But hey, that's like the beauty of this. Makes the circuit tracks more memorable, you know? If I, I swear, if I lose to Johnny, I'm gonna cry. Oh, please don't hit me with that. Please don't hit me with that. Please. Please. I know you want the screen time. Okay, we're safe. I am going to go this way. Just to, you know, diversify my paths. Oh, almost got hit. Oh, hello, KC. How you doing? Hello, me. How you do Imagine I hit me with that. Oh my gosh. I love seeing all the people coming from one way. And it's funny how the position counter doesn't, like, mess up as much, so... Props to whoever made this track. And if guys, if you want to download Mario Kart Midnight, be sure to check the description down below. There will be a link provided to it. Shout out to Mero as well as ZPL for the distribution. All right, Casey got first again. Cal second again. Me and Meme are in third. Okay, so here we are. Waterfall, Water Rise. An interesting track because there's, again, multiple routes, but the water rises every freaking lap. So... Theoretically speaking, you can't take the shortest route unless you don't make it, right? You have to make sure you don't get into the scary part where you drown. So me, Cal, and Casey just like showed it off. And now we have to go the top route because the water is rising. Look at that. Freaking scary. Make sure we make that. And uh, yeah, and by the way, I just noticed too that Pixel got DC'd from race one. So, so rip to Pixel. Um, sorry to hear that he got DC'd, but... Nonetheless, a fan of the channel. I appreciate the support. Regardless, Cal is still up there. Oh my god, I'm gonna get hit by this water. Holy crap, dude. Scary. <laughs> but you can tell from the mini-map, there's so many routes here. I'm just following Cal because Cal is a freaking an amazing player when it comes to Midnight, dude. Um, and yeah, so we're pretty much at the top route because uh, at this point, the water is way too high. So for another lap, we're gonna be doing this. But that's why this is like technically five laps, right? Because you can pretty much cheese it in the beginning. And um, I don't know, it's just to me, even though it's just a regular jungle-esque vibe, it's uh, different because of its theme. Oh, not theme, sorry, it's because of its gimmick. <laughs> its theme is kind of normal, but gimmick is really good. Oh my God, Kitty, please. I think they're like a lap behind me. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Kitty almost hit me, but they, uh, their frame, like, what do you call it? Their star frame, it just ended. So, like, I almost got hit by it, but I was one frame off. Okay, please, let me get second. Looks like these people are, like, a lap behind, so... That's what's very confusing about this track, but once you get used to it, it's a vibe to play on. For sure. I think Cal definitely finished. Cal is so good at this game. Like, it's ridiculous how he has this all memorized in the back of his hand. <laughs> Ario, okay, there we go. Uh, water, fall, water, rise. Let me know what you guys think of this track. Okay, Cal got first this time. Casey finally getting third. Okay, so now we're on CTRR, which stands for Custom Track Russian Roulette. And essentially, as you saw, there were a bunch of different doors and every door is randomized. And you get a different type of like room. And luckily I got the desert section. This is extremely OP on Dolphin Dasher. I am so glad I picked this. What the Smeave Krista and, and Meme are scheming? How the heck? I guess they got like, like a mushroom or something. They were able to scheme even better than me. I love how I did pretty well, but everyone passed me. I'm in eighth. <laughs> so here you see there was five different rooms. We're going one this time. I'm going to showcase just, you know, random rooms. Hopefully we can get different rooms every time. And we don't. We got this again <laughs> we got the same thing bro that's hilarious that's so funny how we got this twice oh bam shock dodge perfect timing thank you so much whoever did that let's go even though i got the bam shock dodge it seems like four other people are doing well too also let me just like mention the mini map it says 40 percent chance of a good track 
and that's true because only 40% of them are good, you know? So, let's just hope we get another good one. Oh, we got another good one. Let's go. But even though this is like off-road, all off-road, again, this is really good for Dolphin Dasher. It doesn't like affect me too much. So this is the forest section. You gotta make sure you don't hit the bushes too much because sometimes behind them there's cacti and they count as um, getting spun out. All right, still in fourth place. We have one more lap to showcase. And um, you can't cheese the minimap like I mentioned because it doesn't show like what it looks like because it's always randomized. All right, final lap. Lap 404, we're going for, and we got this one. Wow, we got really lucky. We got pretty much all the good tracks, in my opinion. I think I count the desert one as a good one. This one is definitely, like, the best because, like, there's no off-road whatsoever. There's a shortcut you could take over there that's pretty much free. So I'll definitely take it. All right, well, that was it. Custom track Russian Roulette. Let me know what you think of this one. We're about to get third place, and it looks like Cal got second, and I think KC got first, which is a certified... E minor moment, bruh. All right, so results so far, KC in first, 93, Cal second, 88, me in third with 72. Now we are on SNES Rainbow Road. Just kidding, guys. This is Sans Rainbow Road. It looks like SNES Rainbow Road, with, but except the, uh, the actual assets is from freaking Undertale and a bunch of things, I guess, Sans related. And it's freaking crazy. Like, I'll tell you that. Look at this. The freaking bones are moving. We got Megalovania playing in the background. I just realized DG is freaking on Tiny Titan. What a chad, dude. This room is amazing. Everyone is literally using random vehicles, and I love it. Except I don't like getting hit by meme over there. But yeah, this portion is a little bit different. It moves around side to side. There's bones swaying back and forth. That is a bomb right there in the middle. You do not want to stay in the middle. This looks like off-road, but it's not. It's kind of just, like, supposed to troll you. And the bones start falling down. So, like, certain parts of the track become really crazy. Like this. Oh, my God. Get, almost getting hit by the bomb. Getting hit by half of the room. And then you just see freaking Sans boulders falling randomly out of nowhere. It's definitely one of the craziest tracks here in Midnight. And I hope it, it stays for Midnight, too, because... I don't know. I used to hate this track. But after, like, getting used to how crazy it is, I definitely think... It deserves it because it's unique, and it's a meme track, and pretty much, yeah, all of the above. It's just a fun layout. As you guys already know, I love SNES Rainbow Road and Mario Kart 8, so of course in Mario Kart Wii, I will love it. Shout out to the cow, whoever made that cow, who put it there. I don't know why they would put it there, but that's kind of funny to me. <laughs> all right, there's Justin playing as uh, Daisy Mock. Holy crap. All right, can we get a good spot? I am trying to get a good spot over here. I need to concentrate for the rest of the race, guys. Can we beat Justin? Probably. I'm going to backspam him because, uh... <gasps> no, Casey, I need to beat her. No, Casey, get out of here. Casey! Casey! Casey, no! No, wait. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I can get big before, maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! E minor. E minor is my reaction. Yo, shout out to Meme, who got first in that race. Casey's still in first, though, with 1-1-1. On to the sixth race. Sixth race, here we have the back rooms from the back rooms. If you guys have ever seen gameplay of this game or just in general, like, played it, it's a freaking scary game. And they also have this in Roblox. I only know the Roblox version. And when I played it on Roblox, that's how you know it's scary. Freaking, they had the Obunga freaking thing chasing after you and other scary memes. I don't know in the original, it's probably something like more original that's scary because the premise is it's a maze, as you could tell, right? And there's like weird graffiti and you have to like get stuff. It's kind of like Slenderman, I think, where you have to like, you have to like get past certain sections and then you have to like do different um, tasks in order to like get by to the next section. So yeah, luckily you don't get chased in this version in Mario Kart Wii, but it's a really cool concept because it's just a maze and if you don't have this memorized, it's very, it's a very difficult course. We played this recently in mirror mode and, uh, no, I literally went all the way to the left so I can get, uh, avoid Casey hitting me and she freaking still got me. This is my reaction. <laughs> so dumb, dude. All right, now I have to freaking the baby method for another freaking 30 seconds. Hopefully I'll get a, Good pull here, because now it's going to be a very difficult to catch up. It's always top two that's always in the front. Casey and Cal. Again, the Weemfy Masters. <laughs> Alright. 
But yeah, see, as you can tell, I have this memorized, so it's not too bad. But um, yeah, shout out to the creator who created this custom track. It's uh, It looks very faithful. I mean, like I said, I played the Roblox version, but the Roblox version is pretty good. So I would implore you guys to check it out if you can. All right, meme right behind me is about to skamaz me with the red. Ah, dude, why? Johnny just casually passing me. Oh, bro, he went the wrong way. Oh, yo, I need that. No, no, meme. I'm going to get like at least. Bro, Johnny, you didn't even need that box, bro. Bro has freaking reds. What am I supposed to do? Oh, my. He's not going to let me through, is he? Oh, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, he messed up. He messed up. Let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. <gasps> We're down one other person. No, only nine people left in the room. Cal got first. And it is a close match between KC and Cal. We have two more races left. Here we go. Seventh race. Here we are. Cargo Bay. One of the things I love about this track is the music. Shout out to the person who made this because like I said, oh my goodness. Freaking love Paper Mario. This is from Paper Mario. I think the Origami King. I just like how it just speeds up over time, you know? And uh, what's really unique about this track specifically is, as you can tell from the layout, at a certain point, we're going to loop around and basically play the track backwards. So that's what's cool about it. You're going to be able to see the ramps. You're going to see how they're, they look very similar to how it was the first time around. So here's the loop right here. Oh my god, DG! I didn't expect DG to be actually in the front right now, bro. DG's making the tiny titan work, dude. Holy smokes! Just barely made that turn. Also... This track just has phenomenal turns. I just love tricking here. It's very fun. And Johnny's about to destroy your boy. Hopefully I can... No! Why, Johnny? No, don't throw that, Cal. Please. Please, Cal. I beg of you. I'm going to take the shortcut. I'm going to take the shortcut. Okay, this is a shortcut. As you can tell, see, the, the ramps are from earlier. Those are the same exact ramps, but they work differently when you come back. So, again, phenomenal job. No, Johnny! No! No, how? Dude, how did he do that? He literally knew. He knows my schemes. Oh my gosh. Usually I'm the TC fiender. And Johnny just fiended me back, bro. Unbelievable. I'm mad. Oh, sure. I should have went up there. That So that's a shortcut that Meme is taking. You can see him. <laughs> His name is still so funny. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Again, with the... You see how the ramp is turning the other way? It's because that's for the other side. So, again, really good job whoever made this custom track. And again, the music, especially in the final lap, is just very intense. So, again, this is Cargo Bay. If you want to check it out, again, it's a Mario Kart Midnight. I'm going to go around because I'm nervous and I don't want to make any mistakes. Okay, that's actually really good. I got shocked in this part and please don't steal that. Please, you son of a gun, dude. You don't deserve that. I am so mad. Wow, everyone's just taking... Okay, you know what? That's fine. I got the Mega Shroom. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, Justin, you want to get hit? Yeah! I got hit by an invisible invisible wall, too! Ay, yeah, yeah. Everything is going wrong in this race. Okay, you know, we're chilling still. I can probably... Maybe I can... Never mind. I just got hit, hit like, jump scared by the bomb. <laughs> Great, now Meme is actually going to beat me. Wait! <gasps> Bam Shock Dodge! I need to beat Meme! No! I didn't beat Meme. No, no, no. I literally hit the wall. What even was that race, dude? That race was so dumb. No! No, Meme is tied to me. Uh, tied with me now. Unfreaking believable. Okay, finally, our last race of the video. This is Bloodstone. And as the, uh, the name implies, it's pretty bloody because there's so many weird turns. As you can tell from the mini, mini map, it's literally just a huge intestine. That's what I like, like to call it because I don't know what else you would call this stupid thing. Like, bro, it just literally just makes no sense. It's as if like this was when, when you're trying to pull different dimensions together and it like screws up. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> but luckily we're playing it in 150cc. 200cc is freaking crazy, dude freaking hate this track and 200 cc especially if we did this with dolphin dasher and also the music kind of fits because it's kind of like metal <laughs> so uh yeah bloodstone there's just random blind spots um 
Things that absolutely make no sense. I have to beat Neem because freaking the dude's tied with me. And I think KC and uh, Cal are also having a really tight battle too. So it's going to be a battle between fir for first and battle for uh, third place. And luckily I was able to catch Cal. And when I freaking pass Cal, that's when I get hit by the blue. Of course, the game loves Cal way too much, dude. Again? Okay, good. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know how I'm still in the course right now. It's freaking crazy. Meme, you are not stealing that, my dude. Okay, we're chilling. Cal, I need to get first. Let me solidify. Actually, I don't really need to get first, but like, I want to be able to secure my dub against Meme as much as possible. So can you like slow down? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Dude, this is so freaking crazy. Okay, we're still chilling here. The music is all ramped up. Luckily, it's only two laps. I don't know how the red didn't hit me. Thank you, Red Shells, for being stupid in Mario Kart Midnight every once in a while. Okay, making that turn. Meme is literally my competition. I need to, like, just keep doing this. Because I don't want him to catch up to me, dude. Oh, no. That was a really bad pal whoever did that. Casey right behind me. Oh, my gosh. But other than that, yeah, the assets, I mean, they're just all red and, like, brown. And can I get that? Can I? No! No TC stealing for me in this stream. Dang it, dude. Yeah, and then there's also, like, a castle here. Let me know if this is, like, from a video game or something. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't get any vibes, like, any video game vibes from this. The only close thing that I that can think of is, like, I don't know, Catherine? From, uh, the Atlas game. Because I know Catherine just has weird, like, areas and stuff. But... Yeah, I just, for some reason, I was able to talk all the way through Bloodstone. That's the intestine course, and it's a really tough one if you don't know what you're doing, personally. So, yeah. Cal is like the Mario Kart version of King of Skill. Yeah, for real. For real, though, for real. I want to play against King of Skill in Mario Party, because my friends always tell me how dumb I am in Mario Party. Like, no matter what, something happens and I win. <laughs> All right, final results. Cal beating Casey. Oh my gosh, overall with 180, Casey second, 178. I was able to beat Meme by three points. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more Mario Kart Midnight content. And be sure to check the description down below if you want to check out the mod. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, good night, good night, good night, good night, bye. Okay.